Welcome to Open Legacy. In this video, we will see just how easy it is to integrate with your legacy SAP system using APIs created with Open Legacy Hub. Please note that we have already logged into the Open Legacy Hub. You must be registered to the Hub before you can perform this or any other Hub activity. We have also copied the relevant SAP libraries. You will need a valid and up-to-date SAP JCO connector to perform this integration on your own system. In this demonstration, we will import a predefined SAP module from the Hub's Solution Center and then add a new asset to the predefined module. We open the module screen and click the Import from Solution Center icon. We are moved to the Import Module page where we use the filter to locate the available SAP modules. We select the Customer Demo module and click the orange Use Module button. We move to the Module Details page where we see the assets. We click the orange Add Asset icon and then the Connect button to establish the connection to our SAP backend. We select the BAPI from the drop down list. Note that the system will automatically name the asset according to the BAPI name. The Asset Details page opens and we can see the input and output fields. Now that we have established and tested the connection, we can test the asset, BAPI Customer Get List. Clicking the BAPI name in the list, the Asset Details window opens. We click the Test tab, name the test case, and enter the required parameters. We then click the Create and Test button. We see that the asset has been successfully tested and valid results were listed. Please note that the test returned five customers in the test output because the max rows parameter is set to five. We return to the Modules page and select our module. We click the Add to Project button and then the Create New Project option. We name the project, select the technology type, here we use default, and create the project. We will be able to change the type later. We open our newly created project and select the contract icon. We can now create the contract. We select the Auto Generate option that bases the contract on the project's modules. We can now change the technology type to Open API and deploy the project. Here we are deploying locally using a Deploy button. Please note that your deployment process will depend on the specifics of your project and your Open Legacy Hub account. Deploying a project can take up to a minute, so be patient. This is a complex operation that must containerize the project and wrap it with the necessary definitions and configurations it needs to run. We will now test the API from the browser using OpenAPI. OpenAPI, also known as Swagger, is a standard specification that allows us to interact with a properly defined service and test it. We will need to use an API key for authorization purposes. The key is available under your Open Legacy Hub Profile drop-down. We copy the Runtime API key and paste it in the Open API Authorization dialog box. Then we select the Get List API and click the Try It Out button. We enter the same parameters we used to test the asset and click Execute. We see that valid results are returned. Thank you for watching this video. For links and other details, please see the description below. If you have any questions, please contact us at Open Legacy.